G'day, I'm Malcolm from Woodworking Machinery Services. Today I'm just going to show you some very basic tips on how to clean a panel saw, uh, as cleanliness is the most important aspect on any machine, of course. So, uh, today's model we're working with is the Paoloni P3200SX. So, the first thing I want to show you is the, slide, the lubricating of the sliding table itself. So, there's many different types of sliding tables available in the marketplace. The model we're looking at today is the classic V-groove track. So depending on the, of the brand of, of the saw you have, if, if it has a V-groove track like, like this machine, there's two ways that the V-groove track can be mounted onto the machine. The, the, the standard way is basically the metal strips are glued on. On this particular brand of machine, the, the strips are actually dovetailed in place. So, the important thing to note here is any machine that has glued on strips, the glue itself can be can deteriorate, uh, especially with solvents. So what I'm going to be using today is, is Inox, uh, which is like a rust inhibitor, a lubricator. It's a very light, um, like an oil. So you can use oil or a light, um, well when I say oil, a light oil uh, or a product like Inox or WD-40 is another common thing. On the types of saws which have the strips that are stuck on with glue, uh, certainly these products uh, are not advised as what happens is it, if, the, um, if the lubricant itself gets behind the, the steel track and into the, where the glue is, is on the back of the track, it will eventually eat away at the glue itself and you find the tracks can actually start peeling off the machine. If this happens, uh, yes, we can we can sort that out for you. Uh, just give us a call at Woodworking Machinery Services in Western Australia, and we can uh, come out and replace the strips for you at uh, no serious uh, cost, really. But um, certainly, it is an issue. But on this type of machine where the, the tracks are dovetailed in, uh, this is what I, re I recommend: just putting a bit of light to a oil or inox on a rag. And you're doing two things at one time here. You're basically cleaning the track and you're lubricating the track at the same time. This doesn't need to be done very often, probably twice a year is, is all you need. The reason being is the, the steel balls that run in the track, obviously steel on steel, eventually when they go bone dry, uh, you will get squeaking. So it's really just to leave a very light film of lubricant behind. The amount of lubricants that, that's left there is not going to attract the dust, so you can easily get in there with your blower and basically clean, keep the tracks clean. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is obviously the the crosscut fence support arm. This part here, I've seen many clients actually lubricate this. This is a big no-no because pretty much all brands they run nylon rollers onto a steel guide. So the best thing to do here is keep, keep it as clean as possible, give it a good blowout from time to time and any build up of dust basically just wipe off with a rag. That will maintain uh, no dust build up on, between the rollers and the steel guide itself uh, which can cause bumpiness in the table so it's another common thing you see on panel saws. As for the rest of the machine on, on this particular model, again probably uh, once every month or two. You can give, give the actual guides themselves a quick squirt with, with lubricator like Inox or WD-40 for that matter. Reason being is it's not going to attract any dust. Uh, sometimes they're greased. Uh, as you've seen with grease it actually attracts a lot of dust and eventually the grease will start to become a hard paste and restrict the movement of, of the tilting mechanism itself. On machines where you have a manual rise and fall manual tilt, there is also worm screws in there which also need lubricating with the same product. But on this particular machine, it's uh, all motor driven, so there's no other lubricants lubricating required inside the machine. So hopefully that's uh, showing you some basics. The overall tip is keep the machine clean and your machine should give you good serviceability.